Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you're doing well and uh, Capricorn if you are new here my name is Joe and I'll be doing your reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements okay as usual do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind and the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if the title catches your attention that's why they're timeless and that's usually how it works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the previous readings that I've done for your sign. But Capricorn, more than anything, do check what other signs you have, any other placements. Mostly Moon, Rising, and Venus. Don't just focus on your sun sign. Then you can go ahead and check out some of the readings that I've done specifically for those signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you at this current moment of your life. Sometimes that happens. It usually means that your messages are just simply coming stronger from those placements. It all depends on your current life path or journey. And last but not least, please do subscribe. Hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support the channel. Thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed, and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate all of your support. Thank you very, very much. All right, Capricorn? All right, let's get started. All right, Capricorn. You got the Two of Pentacles as a starting energy of your reading, or the heart of the matter, or the current energy that you're dealing with. And the Two of Pentacles talks about juggling. You know, uh, taking it one day at a time, probably. Some of you might be trapped in some type of uh, routine that has to change. Um, something that, you know, it's, it's something that every day might be the same thing over and over again. I don't know. But I think uh, you're juggling this. Maybe you want to set yourself free from it. Okay. It's something, uh, it's, it's telling me, it's something about changes. Something has to change now. You have to, you have to change something. And only you can do this. Something, probably a situation has become quite tangled. And it's time to untangle it, to change it, so that things can start flowing. In a different way okay maybe it's just time to change your routine i don't know let's see let's continue the energy that's crossing you could be a challenge or a blockage six of cups capricorn some of you it's something about hmm, i don't know if you were meant to make peace with something from your past um could be but it's not possible, or it's just really challenging. Okay. But it could also be that, you know, Capricorn, I think uh, you're not wanting to see that probably you have already outgrown a situation here. This is why you are trapped in this routine where everything, there's no change, there, there's no diversity, there is no variety. Um, it's just the same thing over and over again now. Uh, maybe you're not seeing that it's time to, you know, just accept that a situation is not meant for you anymore. You see how this child is larger than the other, you know? This is a sign that maybe you have outgrown a situation this child has to bend down has to bend over for someone else and uh, I think you're having a hard time accepting that um, maybe it's time to to say goodbye you know I feel a very innocent goodbye here it could be even quite emotionally it could be Hurtful, painful, difficult, okay? But, uh, yeah, I, I, there's no... You see, when I see this cup, I always compare it with... I mean, when I see this card, I always compare it with the Two of Cup. 
card where these two individuals are, well, they have grown to the same level. They can see eye to eye. They can exchange energy equally. These two children cannot do that because one has already grown. And uh, if you are in a situation, I don't know if it's a relationship, could be or whatever, don't, don't stay waiting for someone or something to catch up with you. Uh, Capricorn, um, not everybody grows at the same time with others, you know. Sometimes other people just don't have the capacity to grow or just don't have the desire to do so. Uh, sometimes they just want to stay where they're at. And that's perfectly fine. And you can't judge them, criticize them or anything, you know. But you have to understand that maybe it's time to just, you know, walk away and to move on and continue with your life. But do not stay in a situation where it's becoming a routine. Uh, choose our decisions, you know, and it's time for a change here. It's time to break free from something. Okay? Okay. Crowning you, conscious mind, you are aware of this. You're constantly thinking about it. It could be a desire for some of you. It's the sun, Leo energy. You want, you really want this in your life, you know, joy, happiness, clarity, all this, um, To have a new beginning, something new, a new life. It's like this baby. It's all, it's like it's newborn, new new life, a new opportunity. You don't want to be in this anymore. You're ready for for something new, more exciting, more thrilling, more you know. Sun is Leo energy. I don't know if I said that, but uh, yeah, you you are really desiring this. You you are constantly thinking about this. I think you're ready to manifest this in your life. You don't want to stay trapped in a loophole, in a constant loop, in a routine, something repetitive. It's time for a change, but you're having a hard time uh, making peace with this and saying goodbye to it or accepting that it's time to say goodbye to it and seeing that you have outgrown this and that maybe you know someone or something else is not gonna they're not, they're not gonna catch up with you soon that's for sure there's no i you're not on the same level anymore okay with whatever it is that you're dealing with because it could be even a job environment you know sometimes we outgrow situations and we just, you know, we, we, we start seeing that it's not meant for us anymore. Maybe it was at some point, but uh, it's not that way anymore. Okay. So it's time for a new change, for change in your life. This is what's below you. In your subconscious mind, you're not aware of. Maybe you should pay more attention to this. It's the will of fortune. There it is. It's that change. You know, I think they're really trying to tell you that. The time is now to do this. The wheel is spinning in your, in your in your favor, and it's time for you to take advantage of this now. Just new 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 possibilities in your life that are trying to come in, new opportunities, new things, and it's time for you to to do something about this and to welcome these changes into your life, okay? Take, take advantage of this opportunity. And don't be afraid of these changes. Behind you, uh, recent past or where you're coming from or what you are or should be leaving behind or the reason why you're going through this, uh, seven of wands, you know, Behind you is as if telling you that you have to be strong, you have to stay strong.
Capricorn, it's very important that you fight for what you believe in. Okay, fight for your dreams. You're not meant to deal with these other lower energies. You're in a higher ground. I don't think you have seen this yet. But you're in a better position. You're in a higher position. You're in a higher ground. You're meant to just, you know, just stay strong, be strong, fight for what you believe in. Don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't let anything try to stop you, criticize you, question you, judge you. Why are you doing this? Why are you leaving? Why? Uh, I just heard that you are being selfish. Someone is telling you that you are being selfish. Don't allow that to happen. Don't uh, let anyone tell you that you are selfish because you are uh, moving on from something where I don't think you are, you know, you don't feel connected to this anymore. You don't feel as part of this environment anymore. So you don't belong here anymore. But there's going to be forces that are going to try to stop you and they're going to try to confuse you. Stay strong, be bold, be assertive and just go after, fight for what you believe in. Okay. Don't let anything try to drag you down. Okay. Don't try to let anything make you feel bad for what you're doing. You, 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 you really want this, don't you? Okay, so it's time for you to fight for it. You deserve it. I really think that you deserve it. Oh, that's what it is. That's why it's in your past. You should see that. You've been through a lot already. You deserve this. Some of you are having a hard time seeing that. Maybe you're not giving yourself the proper credit for what you've all of, for what you've already been through. Okay, so yeah, you deserve this. Absolutely, you are meant to break free from the cycle and have a new beginning here. And it's time. Let things flow. Go with the flow of things and accept these changes and go with these changes. Embrace this change. Okay. All right. In front of you, where you're headed to, what's coming towards you in your future. It's the world card. This is where you're meant to go. This is what you have to do. You have to, this is closure. You have to, this is a big ending. This is the ribbon. This is the icing on a cake. All right. You have to give yourself a proper closure. This is the last of the major arcana. This is where a cycle has ended. And it's time for a new beginning. And you want this new beginning. There's that baby. It's a new life. But you have to accept if you're having a hard time doing that. Okay. And don't let, um, don't wait for anyone or anything to give you the proper closure. You have to give this closure to yourself and just, you know, Make peace with the situation. Uh, that's what I, I felt also with this card. It's about making peace with something. And just understand that it's time to, to move on, to put an ending to something and to, for you to have a new beginning. Okay? That's, that's great. The world card is just confirming that. Yeah. Because we have the sun, and then we have the, which is number 19. Then we have judgment, number 20, and then the world card is number 21. So there is some type of uh, sequence here. Okay. So yeah, you have to accept the sending or give yourself the sending. It just, some of you are going to have to detach from a lot of things, you know, whether they're emotional, physical, whatever, energetically, you just have to say goodbye to a lot of things here. And it's not easy, but uh, it's the only way that you can, you can do this. This is purging, purging energy for you to, to have this new beginning. Okay. 
this how you should see yourself or respond to the situation. I mean, I can't make this up, right? We've got the world card, which is the last, and then we've got the first of the major arcana right after it. So this is the ending for a new beginning. That's it. I mean, I can't, I can't say any, anything else, you know? For some of you, there's a white dog, you know, it might mean something, okay? This little white dog is, you know, it's, it's your guides, your angels, your, your spirit is telling you, whatever you decide to do, wherever you plan to go, I'm with you. Let's go for this. Let's. I'm, I'm, I'll be there with you, okay? But dare to have this new beginning. Allow yourself to be curious, to, 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 to. But you have to, yeah. You see how he's just carrying the bag, you know, the little, which I always say it's his lunch, his lunch, you know, that's it. And his faithful companion, he's just traveling, he's traveling very lightweight. You have to leave a lot of baggage behind. This is that purging for you for to have this new beginning. Allow yourself to take a chance to to take risks. Okay? Allow yourself to be curious. He's got the white rose on his hand, which is the white rose of York, and that's the sign symbol of curiosity. Okay? But you're meant to embrace this new beginning have faith and just go for it go for it okay wow capricorn beautiful i mean really having the, the full right after the world that's you know that says a lot and there's a lot of changes here surrounding influencing inspiring you yeah judgment you know something happened it's this is like this big alarm that went off, you know, and you, you have to answer to this higher calling. You have to answer to this trumpet. And that's number 20. I was saying it. The sun is number 19. Judgment is number 20. And the world is number 21. And then we got the full. I mean, wow. Something you have outgrown a situation. It's something you have to leave behind. It's time to rise and shine and move on, walk away. You are not meant to stay here anymore. Okay? All this, all this uh, figures, people are rising from the tombs. They're leaving, it, leaving them behind. Something dead done over. It's something that you have outgrown. And it's time for you for your new beginning okay so yeah you have to accept closure you have to have, give yourself a closure or you have to accept the ending you have to make peace with the situation okay just you know you don't have to you don't have to apologize anyone you don't have to uh, sit with anyone or anything you know forgive anyone directly you know this is just making peace with the situation and just saying okay it's it's time it's time for this ending you know judgment wheel of fortune it's it's time this is that alarm clock telling you come on come on capricorn it's time to take advantage of this new opportunity something great is waiting for you you've been through a lot you've been standing your ground you have been fighting You deserve something new, something better now, okay? I think Divine has seen what you've been through and they're trying to, they're, 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 tell, they're telling you, you know, with that judgment card, they're, they're telling you it's time, okay? This is in your hopes and fears is the sword of truth, okay? Ace of Swords talks about that, you know? I don't know, I have an, uh, probably for some of you, you're asking yourselves, you know, am I doing the right thing? Uh, some of you are asking yourselves, is, is all of this for real? Is it really happening? The sort of truth talks about being true and loyal to yourself, okay? I think uh, you are being handed a sword and you are having a hard time um 
managing or un understanding what you're meant to do with this. Okay, it's this new clarity and it's, it's not that it's scaring you, but you're trying to make sense of things. Okay, and I think the important thing here, Capricorn, is that you just remain true and loyal to yourself and you follow your own desires. Speak your truth, always be clear with your, with your thoughts, your desires, your wishes. Okay, and it's just about being, being truthful. You're also hoping that things are being true somehow, that there is some type of loyalty in the situation that you're going through. You're just hoping that things are transparent. I don't know, but uh, because that's in your hopes and fears. But I think most of you are just having a hard time, you know, just handling this, this, this new sword that has been handed to you. And it's perfectly normal. You just have to get the grip of it. And it has to do with trust and having faith. Okay. But more than anything, be true to yourself. Okay. What is it what you really want now? And I think that's part of the problem here. I mean, you've been, I think you've been through so much of this that now that you are being handed this sword of clarity, that's why you're having our time. It's like for the first time you are, you are being given the opportunity to, to take action on your own, do something for your own self and you might be having a bit of a hard time right now, you know, but you'll get the hang of it. You, you understand, but you have to have faith and, uh, and yeah, be true to yourself. Okay, be true and loyal to yourself and to your desires. This is the outcome or the advice, Ten of Pentacles, what a reading, Capricorn. Really, I mean, you're going to reach this status of, of, of success, of stability. This is reaching a point where, you know, this old man sitting, it doesn't mean it's, it does not have anything to do with age. It's just about you reaching finally, you know, this old man is sitting finally, surrounded by those only who are too loyal to him. Mostly, you know, the dogs are next to him. Those two dogs are his most loyal companions. That little white dog, remember him? You know, for some of you, these are your spirit guys that have been there with you. And I think they're telling you that it's gonna be a long journey, but they will never part your side. They will always be there with you. And, uh, and I think some of you at a spiritual level are know, already know that. I know, I think some of you know that your best company are those who have already or are in another plane, you know. And, uh, but this is you reaching this status of, of, of stability. There's something about, you know, your pentacles, maybe wealth, your health, Maybe your abundance, maybe something you mean about a home, you know. I think you are going to be, or you're being presented with, with this new opportunity to finally have this outcome that you have been desiring for quite some time already. But now, you know, it has been presented to you and now you're having a hard time. It's been, it has become shocking to you. But don't let that scare you, okay? You'll get the hang of it. Just uh, just be true to yourself, okay? And project yourself like this. It's important that you project yourself like that and everything's gonna be fine. But those white dogs, you know, it means something to you. Whether it's even a pet, you know, it could be your guides. But you're closing cycles and you're having, you're having new beginnings, opening new ones. Wow. Belief in magic. Queen of Wands. Jesus, Capricorn, I always get this card for you, don't I? You know, something about cats, you know. 
let go of that uh, bad luck mentality. There's no such thing as bad luck. You create your own bad luck by believing in bad luck, okay? Um, remember that black cat, that's her cat. That The cat's name is mystery. And you have to embrace the mystery. You have to love mystery. You have to enjoy. Believe in magic, okay? The queen of wands sits pretty and she lets things flow for her. But this doesn't mean that you have to sit on your ass and not do anything. No. I mean, just go with the flow of things. And believe that everything is going to be okay. All right? Five of swords. Please do not engage with any conflict or any lower vibrational energies. You have dealt with... You have dealt with... Storms. To be bothered by small raindrops. Okay? Don't engage with bullshit anymore. Uh, don't engage with any negative energies anymore. Just turn around, move away. Okay? This, all these energies will try to stop your growth, slow down your growth. They can't stop it, but they can slow it down. The only one who can stop it is yourself. But if you allow that to happen, okay? Then I got the high priestess, Piscean energy, you know. Capricorn, listen to your higher voice. You are in this constant growth, personal growth and spiritual growth. Divine is saying that, yeah, you, you've been through a lot and that you've been doing a lot of great work with yourself. But uh, keep, keep going, keep believing, okay? Embrace the mystery and uh, keep putting this work in yourself, very, very spiritual work in yourself, okay? The pomegranate, uh, the fruit might mean something for you, okay? If you have pomegranates around you or anything like that, and the BJ may mean something for you too. Actually, both mean something for me, which I am a both uh, rising and moon Capricorn. So this reading does resonate a lot for me, and I hope it does resonate for you too. Okay. Okay, let's get additional messages, advice, or warnings from the side of the deck, just in case I'm missing something, or just to see what else we get. And uh, then we'll close your reading with the Woodland Warden's Oracle deck. All right, Capricorn, let's see. Beautiful reading, Capricorn. You are closing a big chapter in your life, for the better. It's not easy, but sometimes we outgrow situations. And we are meant to move on. Okay. What other messages do you have for Capricorn regarding the shooting or situation, please? Sorry about that. Anything else for Capricorn? What other messages do you have for Capricorn, please? Regarding the shooting or situation, if there's something else you need to know, what would it be, please? Anything else for Capricorn? Oh, that one. Okay. That one. That's it. I only had two cards. Strange. Capricorn, you have temperance. Sagittarius energy. Whatever you've been through, you it has made you stronger. You had to go through a lot. Okay? Stay balanced. Stay focused. <laughs> Something about your angel wings. Okay? You are, you, you are still ascending, you're still in constant growth, okay? Stay focused, your spiritual growth is very important. Always continue down that path, okay? And continue purging, working yourself. Don't allow anything to try to stop you, hinder you, slow you down, intoxicate you, I don't know, kind of weird, okay? But just keep, keep, keep going, okay? 
Five of Pentacles, you know, it's that lack of mentality, but I know things have not been easy for some of you. This is why the outcome, they're telling you that you're going to reach this Ten of Pentacles, okay? But Capricorn, you have been through a lot, okay? And it's normal to be in this lack of mentality. Get yourself out of that. And Divine is saying that they've have seen how you've been struggling and how you kept moving, even through the worst. And you never gave up. You never stopped. Because the worst thing you can do in a, in a storm like this is to stop because that's when people freeze to death, literally. The, oh, you have to keep moving when things are like this. And you know what? You kept fighting. You kept, you know. And it's coming to an end, finally. Okay, why? Because you don't see this yet, maybe. But things are changing in your favor now. Okay? Seven of Swords, Capricorn. Okay? Keep things to yourself. Do not speak about your plans. Okay? People are going to ask you, where are you going? Where are you going with all those swords? What are you doing? I don't know. I'll see. I'll figure it out. Okay? But don't tell anyone about your plans. Okay? Keep things to yourself. Move in silence. Very important. Okay? Let's close your reading with the Woodland Warden Circle deck. Then I'll send you off your way so you can have your new beginning. Wrap, wrap up this cycle and start a new one. Okay, let's see. Okay, one message, please, for Capricorn. We'll be going circle back, please. Let me see if I can take it. So, Capricorn, you have number 27, which is the fox and the ivy. And it means adaptability. You know, you have to learn to adapt to these changes. I think that's your card, after all. Number 27. Yeah, just take the message as it best resonates for you. It doesn't have to be related or correlated with the reading in any way, shape, or form, but the way I see this card. So adapt adaptability, <laughs> adaptability says, Foxes are cunning, quick thinking, and clever. When paired with ivy, a hardy plant that flourishes even in harsh environments, the fox reminds us to apply our cleverness toward adaptability. Okay? You operate, it says, to allow the fox's ingenuity to guide you. Nimbleness and adaptability will suit you well in your endeavors. In the reverse, it says that your stubbornness may be holding you back. Remain open-minded and beware of becoming stuck in our ways. And two questions you have to ask yourself with this card is one, do I feel stuck? And number two is how can I adapt to changes in my life? Don't fear the changes. Go with the flow. Embrace the mystery. Wow. Oh yeah, no, sorry. I just thought I saw something else, but it's okay. Okay. So yeah, just adapt, go with the flow of things, okay? And don't be afraid of this new beginnings. It might be shocking for you. You might be in a state of, I don't know what to do, you know? You will, you'll find out. Just go with the flow of things, okay? And when you need answers, ask your guides. Ask your guides for questions. Ask them the questions, for, ask them for answers. And, They'll give you the, they'll, they'll, they'll give them to you. Okay. You're not alone. I think that's, you know, I think this, the white dog, that's what they're telling you. You know, you're not alone. You probably sometimes forget. Sometimes you, forget, you don't see them. You lose faith, but talk to your guides. Always talk to your guides and you'll be surprised how they, they'll answer back. Really trust me on that one. Okay. Capricorn. That's the best I can do for you. I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And if you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. 
Capricorn, as usual, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye.